So with the new C-section date, I will be 36 weeks in three days. And it is February 1st now. So I have 17-ish days before we go in for my C-section. And that's really, really exciting, but really, really scary at the same time. I'm so ready for my boys to be here because the heartburn and the back pain and the breast and hits and the hip veins are driving me flipping lockers. But I know that it's worth it in the end, obviously. It just is, my body is physically and mentally exhausted and I'm trying to hang in there as much as I can. Um, but with the new C-section date, we only have three NST scans left and after tomorrow it will only be two and then we only have two ultrasounds left before the boys are here. So that's really, really, really exciting. Um, I still have to be at the hospital at five o'clock in the morning and um, unless someone comes in for an emergency, I will be the first one into surgery. So that's pretty awesome. And I've had three previous C-sections, two planned, and with my two that was planned, um, they only had to postpone one of them for about two hours later because a woman did come in and need an emergency C-section. So, I mean, it's not really that bad. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to update y'all on. My symptoms are still the same. Back pain, heartburn, hip pain, um, and not being able to sleep, which is the reason I'm doing this video at 11.42 at night. <laughs> um, cravings are pretty much non-existing. Um, I will start to get... I will crave something and then I'll get it and not want it. So that really, really, really sucks because that's like, why did you even get it if you're not going to eat it kind of thing. Um, everything with the boys besides their coming home outfit. Oh, before I get into that, I asked Palmer how he thinks their weights are going to look. Um, when they are born and he says for twins that they are looking for lung development and not really weight but and he thinks he's about 98 percent sure that at 36 weeks in three days which is how far i'll be their lung development should be good and they shouldn't have any time in the NICU which would be flipping amazing because that means we'll go home probably saturday the 18th is on a thursday but as for weight, he says that he thinks they might gain a pound to two pounds um, before they're born. And if that's the case, Dominic will weigh for roughly five to six pounds and Brian will weigh four to five pounds. And I've already, I always had big babies. Nevaeh was seven, 14. Rain was 614 and Sky was 914. So the fact that we might have small babies is kind of shocking. But he did tell us to make sure that we bring preemie outfits along with newborn outfits. So that way, if one happens to be smaller, then, or if they're both small, obviously, we have outfits for them and don't have to rush around or anything like that. Speaking of their coming home, I'm still not going to show y'all their coming home outfit. I will know what their coming home outfit is by the end of the week in both preemie and newborn sizes. Y'all are still not going to see them until the day they come home. And that's because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But Scooby or Jacob, whichever you want to call him now, is get in their outfits Friday if not this week and I should get them this weekend so I'm pretty excited about that um I did have to repack my hospital bag because I forgot that I needed some things out of it and I ended up pretty much wiping out my whole hospital bag and redoing it so everything in it is completely packed it is about 90 
seven percent done there's things like the tablet that needs to go in it and last minute objects and i've mentioned in my hospital bag video that i wasn't going to do a diaper bag because i was just going to bring coming home outfits and their blankets and that's all i decided that i am going to pack a hospital bag uh, or a diaper bag for them and i actually went out and bought a brand new diaper bag that i'm going to show y'all in just a minute um, because we are going to have to bring more than I thought. I thought we were just going to bring home or do one coming home outfit for each baby and their blankets, but with them possibly being preemies and everything else, we obviously need more than what I was expecting, I guess. So I decided that I am going to pet their hospital, their diaper bag. But it's going to be diaper slash hospital bag. So I am going to pack it like I would a regular diaper bag. So that means it will have stuff for the girls in it. It will have stuff for the boys in it. Um, and yeah. So the bag that I got. I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm not going to go into much detail. Um, because I am going to do a review-ish video. Probably after I do this video. Because I'm wired right now. But I got this from Walmart for $25. And it just looks like this. It's a big book bag type diaper bag. So it has the straps and then and it's by BB Gear. Never heard of them before but it's a huge diaper bag and I will like I said I'll be doing that video after this one and here's the change of mat since I have it in my hand. <laughs> so I'm going to do a diaper bag video for them along with the review um and I think that's about it so I'm going to do my belly shot and I will talk to y'all in my next video so here's what the shirt on and I feel huge now and here's what the shirt up. And sorry, I'm itchy. That's another symptom that I forgot to say. I feel like I'm carrying around a effed up basketball most of the time. <laughs> My belly button hadn't popped, but it is really, really shallow and almost completely flat. I used to be able to stick to about there in my belly button and now I can can hardly stick my fingernail in it but that is my big old belly y'all will only see it for what two more weeks yeah two weeks and then babies <laughs>